Black Knight, no, not that Black Knight, the other one, is a five-star tactician vanguard and tamer of Slumberfoots. She's only available from headhunting in the global server and was first released alongside Ling and Lee in the Unstained Liquor Pellucid Heart banner. BK has six years of combat experience, most likely coming from her time as a beast tamer and bounty hunter in many territories of Yan. She stands at 166 centimeters tall, was born on the 2nd of November in Rim Billiton, and is of the Savra race, specifically a crested gecko. In her archive files and promotion record, it's noted that the animals that BK keeps as pets, long-snouted slumberfoots, have a digestive gland that secretes a special liquid that makes nearby living things sleepy. Because of this, capturing the slumber foots to extract the digestive fluid so that sleeping drugs could be made, led to slumber foots leaving the areas around nomadic cities. Keeping slumber foots as pets and training them successfully is extremely difficult, but BK managed to pull it off, at least four times but she sees them less as pets and more as family. There's two addendums at the end, reminding all ops to take good care of their pets or inanimate objects resembling them, or BK will unintentionally abduct them. BK sometimes talks about a man she calls Old Bai. His actual name is Bai Ding Shang, and as far as the Rose Branch office could find, was an ordinary potter. According to BK, however, she knew him as an old storyteller who followed a merchant caravan. At the time, she didn't think highly of him and kidnapped Bai without thinking. In the following days, BK found Bai to be an honest man and not the scoundrel she thought he was, returning him safely. Years later, Bai actually contracted BK to find an item for him, which she claimed she did out of friendship rather than returning the favor. According to BK, she was about 10 when she wandered into a village and was adopted by a hunter couple. Living in the wasteland is dangerous for many reasons, but the biggest danger is food and water. Long-term farming is impossible, but BK learned many survival skills to help live in terrible terrain. Safe areas, plan identification, what animal is easy to hunt, and the early signs of catastrophes are just some of the skills she learned. But the most important thing that she keeps close to her heart is that companionship is more important than food, shelter, and water. From age 13, she led the village's children to make livings as bounty hunters, and is currently paying off their debt by serving with roads. BK is originally from Rim Billiton, which is evidenced by her speaking the language fluently and the name she's given her slumberfoot, like Drill and Pick. Both of her birth parents were minors in Rim and became infected during an incident. Not wanting to be sent to more dangerous infected mines, the family took a caravan to Colombia, where they were promised fairly priced medicine, plenty of land, and a stable and happy life. Neither her mother or her father reached Colombia alive, and years later, BK realized that her parents' Colombian dream wasn't feasible either. But BK realized that the journey was what mattered most to her parents not Columbia. Her promotion record is a how-to for taming a wasteland beast. First, you show you're tougher than them. Then, you establish dominance. The most important thing is building trust with them. If you succeed, they'll come with you and entrust you with their lives. BK is confirmed to be infected. She has a cell originum assimilation of 10% and a blood originum crystal density of 0.31 parts per liter. There are notes in her clinical analysis saying that there is some crystallization visible on all four of her limbs, and since BK is mobile year-round in the wastelands and was unaware beforehand of protective measures, she needs more knowledge on how to properly protect herself from originum and catastrophes. In her character art drawn by Small Ryozaki, Black Knight wears a black tank top underneath a black sleeveless shirt with zipper at the front and collar a choker with purple ring in the middle, a necklace with gold medallion that has a slumber foot on it, a belt around her waist with a card hanging off of it, a black skirt with ripped bottom and leather clasps, a large brown leather belt hanging loosely off her waist, fingerless black arm gloves, black painted nails, an infection monitor around her upper left arm, earrings, a belt around her lower right thigh, and black high-heeled boots. 
She has her crossbow, which has a scope and appears to be a pistol crossbow, on a strap over her right shoulder with a quiver behind her as well. Directly behind her are two metal crates and a sleeping or drowsy slumber foot. In her voice lines, voiced by Junko Noda, who voices Tatsuki Arasawa and Shuno in Bleach, Miyabi Aizawa in GTO, Toshigi, Kappa, and Haruta in One Piece, and Mira Nigus in Soul Eater, Black Knight often talks about hunting or sleeping. こないだ君が仕事してる時、こっちだって寝てたわけじゃないんだから。君のワークフローくらい全部頭に入ってるって。ちょっとメット、通路で暴れ回らないで。人の懐に潜り込んで隠れるなんて甘い。で、まあいい
At level 7, the Slumberfoot recovers 336 HP per second and has its attack raised to 687. At M3, it recovers 361 HP per second and has its attack raised to 735. I'm unaware of the Slumberfoot's attack speeds with the buffs, but rest assured it's probably 0.6 seconds? That's a rough guess at best. Her second skill, Peaceful Slumber, gains SP over time and is manually triggered. Both level 7 and M3 start with 10 SP and can store 2 charges, with level 7 needing 17 SP to proc, while M3 needs 16. At level 7, you immediately gain 4 DP and all enemies in the 4 tiles above, below, and beside the Slumberfoot are put to sleep for 5 seconds. For the next 5 seconds, the Slumberfoot uses AoE Arts attacks that deal 150% damage against sleeping enemies. At M3, enemies are put to sleep for 6 seconds and the AoE Arts attacks deals 200% damage against sleeping enemies. At level 7, the Slumberfoot does 711 AoE Arts damage. At M3, it's 948. You don't really see many, if any, Tactician Vanguards use compared to 2-block, single-block, and Flag, or Pioneer Charger, and Standard Bearer Vanguards. But they do have their uses. Black Knight, like any other ranged Vanguards, does have ranged attacks, meaning that she can hit enemies in the air with her crossbow, as well as dealing 50% more damage to enemies being blocked by her Slumberfoot as it's the subclass advantage with ranged vanguards. Slumberfoots also don't take DP to be deployed. I don't think they take any deployment slots either, but don't quote me on that, and respawn after a few seconds of downtime. Her S1 generates a decent amount of DP, heals the Slumberfoot, and gives them an attack buff if they're awoken, while her S2 puts enemies to sleep, which is rare, and has the Slumberfoot deal AoE arts damage against them with higher attack against sleeping enemies. Overall, pretty good crowd control, especially considering that these Slumberfoots can attack sleeping enemies, while most op can't. The downsides aren't that many, but they're important to note. Firstly, the Slumberfoots only have one block, and you can only deploy one of them at a time. You can't move their place unless you retreat Black Knight as a whole, which I don't really understand and kind of sucks. Black Knight's stats are also lower compared to melee vanguards, and as mentioned before, there are very, very few ops out there who can attack sleeping enemies. There's also the fact that the Slumberfoots have a 15 second downtime, respawn, time, whatever, between dying and respawning, as well as being unable to be healed outside of Black Knight's S1, maybe with passive healing from like Perfumer, but I'm not sure. Overall, Black Knight is a decent vanguard and is worth considering if you also need ranged damage in the opening moments of a stage. But if you're looking for pure DP generation, or need more block, she's outclassed by likes of Myrtle for just god-tier DP generation, Elysium, Siege, Saga, and Texas. There's also Vigil to consider, as he's the 6th star of the Tactician Vanguard subclass, at least until Mule's gets added, or however the hell you pronounce her name. And he's quite a bit better than Black Knight. Overall medium, medium, low priority to build. Thank you for watching. Please follow my Twitter for updates, and please check out my other Azure Lane and Girls Frontline videos as well. There will be a teaser out tomorrow for next week's character summaries.